Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for an epic pack battle. So we're pitting War of the Spark against Ikoria. So we're going to be snacking on this today. I'm going to grab six packs from each box and see how we do. And War of the Spark actually is uh, out of print, so boxes are getting a little bit scarce at this point. So the prices are gradually creeping up. So which of these is your favourite set? Leave a note in the comments and we will be opening a very nice box top at the end. Looks pretty... Oh, I don't know, maybe it's a little bent. We'll check that out later. Okay, so I'm going to grab six packs from each one. We'll grab two here and one from there. Alright, so we've got our six. War of the Spark and then Ikoria. Grab two from here. Just grab two from each column, I think. All right, pop that over there and let's get stuck into it. Okay, so leave your prediction in the comments section which set you think will reign supreme. Okay, so starting off here, War of the Spark, and we do actually look at the common cards on this channel. I know it's horrifying for some people, but I absolutely love looking at the artwork. Okay, we have Chain Whip, Cyclops, Teo's Light Shield, Spellkeeper, weird, okay, that's a bit weird, Courage and Crisis, Soren's Thirst, Burning Prophet, I hope this was not Burning Prophet, Relentless Advance, Centaur Nurture, Demolish, Lazatep Reaver, and Uncommon's Leyline Prowler, Grateful Apparition, Watley the Sun's Heart, and the rare is Narset's Reversal. Instant for two, copy target, instant all sorcery spell room, return it to its owner's hand. You may choose new targets for the copy. With a mountain and a goblin token. Very cool indeed. Okay, switching gears to Ikoria, Lair of Behemoths. What will we find here today? We have a Lava Serpent. Blade Banish, Unlikely Aid. Essence Symbiote, Light of Hope. Shredded Sails, Facet Reader, Sleeper Dart, Memory Leak. Um, never mind, I completely forgot what I was doing. Clash of Titans, Hornbash Mentor, and that gag is getting a bit old by this point. Unbreakable Bond, and rare is Death's Oasis, Enchantment for three. Whenever an on-token creature you control dies, put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard, then return a creature card with lesser command mana cost than the creature that died from your graveyard to your hand. That is mouthful. Pay one, sack it. You gain life equal to the greatest command mana cost among creatures you control. And a foil reptilian reflection with a swamp and human soldier. So I think we're probably about even at this point. I mean, the NAS set may be a buck or so, not quite sure. So no clear winner as of yet. All right, next we have Makeshift Battalion, Gizmina's Transmutation, Courage in Crisis, Polymbright Druid, Guild Globe, Chandra's Parahelix, Davriel's Shadowfugue, Wanderer's Strike, Relentless Advance, and Uncommon's Bleeding Edge, Gideon's Triumph, Pledge of Unity, and ding, 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 Liliana, Dreadhorde, General, Mythic. Legendary Planeswalker Liliana, six loyalty for six. Whenever a creature you control dies, draw a card, a plus one, credit to two black zombie creature, token minus four. Each player sacrifices two creatures, minus nine. Each opponent chooses a permanent they control of each permanent type and sacrifices the rest. She's actually coming back in Core 2021. Which Planeswalker is your favourite from the set? Leave a note in the comments. And Bond of Discipline, Foil with a Swamp and another Goblin, yes! Okay, we're going to go hunting for Goblins. So we've got two of those and then Foil here. Um, yeah, back to Ikoria. So War of the Spark says, beat that and Ikoria. Is probably going to go whimpering, running off with its tail between its legs. We have Helica Glider Nightmare Squirrel. Okay, Frost Lynx. Ferocious Tigerilla Perimeter Sergeant ran through. Whisper Squad. Savai Sabretooth Anticipate. Cloud Piercer and Uncommon's Exuberant Wolf Bear. Keensight Mentor. 
Lead the Stampede and Drannith Magistrate. Okay, not bad, not bad. Creature Human Wizard 1 3 for 2. Your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. And a foil rare, unpredictable cyclone enchantment for five. If a cycling ability of another non-land card would cause you to draw a card and said XL cards from the top of your library until you XL a card that shares a card type with the cycled card. You may cast a card without paying its mana cost and put the XL cards that won't cast this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. Cycle it for two. That is a mouthful indeed. A blossoming sands and a companion token. So we will be also hunting for a fun token. Actually, there's a couple of fun tokens in uh, Ikoria. Leave a note in the comments. What is your favorite token in Ikoria? Okay, War of Spark. We have Turret Ogre, a Shock Skulker, Honor, the God Faro, Steady Aim, Charity Extractor, Tamio's Epiphany, Trusted Pegasus, Bane Hound, Giant Growth Prison Realm for the Uncommons, Bond of Flourishing, Sahili, Sublime Artificer, very nice. And the rare is Living Twister. So creature elemental 2-5 for 3, pay 1 in red, discard land card, Living Twister deals 2 damage to any target, pay a green, return attack land you control to its owner's hand. And a foil bulwark giant with an island and a zombie army, no goblin. Okay, on to Ikoria again. Let's see, we got a phase dolphin, Pyroceratops, fully grown, dead weight, and is that a giant rabbit or is that just my imagination? Blister Spit Gremlin, Essence Scatter, Night Squad Commando, Plummet, Dranith Healer, Raking Claws, and Uncommon's Huntmaster Liger. Porcu Parrot, okay, that's a thing. Glowstone Recluse. And rare is a Dirge Bat. Creature Bat 3 3 for 4. So it has Mutate 4 and 2 black. If you cast a spell for its Mutate cost, put it over or under target non human creature you own. They mutate into the creature on top plus all abilities from under it. It's flash from flying. Whenever this creature mutates, destroy target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. And a mountain and no table required in the arena. What are you playing there? I've played a bunch of games in there lately and put up a bunch of deck techs. If you miss those, I'll check a link up in the corner to the complete playlist. All right, War of the Spark. At this point, you're just coasting, aren't you? So let's see what we get. Makeshift Battalion, Contentious Plan, Summit Sprint. Martyr for the cause, Toll of the Invasion, Crunch Wrangler, Callus Dismissal, Gateway Plaza, Arlen's Wolf, and Uncommon's Watley's Raptor. So we saw Watley earlier, Bleeding Edge, Devouring Hellion, and the rare, not bad, Ral Storm Conduit, Legendary Plains Walker, excuse me, Ral, four loyalty for four. One of you cast a copy of Nets and all sorts of spell, Ral Storm Conduit does one damage to target opponent or Plains Walker. It's plus two, square one, minus two. Whenever you, you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. And a foil rare Tamio Collector of Tales. Now you're just showing off. Legendary Planeswalker Tamio, five loyalty for four. Spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause you to discard cards or sacrifice permanents. Choose a non land card name, then reveal the top four cards. Of your library, put all cards with the chosen name from among them into your hand and rest into your graveyard. Her minus three. Return target card from your graveyard to your hand. All right, we are doing pretty nicely with War of the Spark. Mountain and Zombie Army. No goblin there. Alas, on to Ikoria. Pull up your socks, lad. Let's see some juicy pulls. We've got Divine Arrow, Wingfold Terran, Frenzied Raptor. Imposing Vantasaur, Sudden Spinnerets, Mutual Destruction, Moscow Goriak, Suffocating Fumes, Dreamtail Heron, Coordinated Charge, an uncommon Sonorous Howlbonder, Will of the Old Hunter, Savai Thundermane, and Rare, Ruinous Ultimatum. Sorcery for a whole bunch of mana, destroy all non land permanents your opponents control. With a mountain and human soldier, not the token we're looking for, alas. Back to War of the Spark. Okay, let's see. We've got Kiora's Dam Breaker, Chain Whip Cyclops, Teo's Light Shield, 
Spellkeeper weird, that is a bit weird. Tidebearer giant, Spellgorger weird. Okay, Spellgorger, Spellkeeper, fair enough. Topple the statue, Herald of the Dread Horde. Gateway Plaza, Ajani's Pride Mate for the Uncommons. Dread Horde Twins, Kaya Bane of the Dead is the Planeswalker. And rare is Narset's Reversal. Again, really, we're doing doubles now, okay. Really is coasting at this point. And a foil Eternal Skylord. With a Swamp and Voha Friend to Elves. Okay, I'll take that. But I would have preferred a Goblin. Alright, Ikoria. Ikoria, where are the Triomes? Gust of Wind. Checkpoint Officer, or I'd settle for a Planeswalker. Fully Grown, Unlikely Aid, Patagia Tiger, Shredded Sails, Hampering Snare, Evolving Wilds, and I just remembered we do have the Box Topper in the corner there. Hopefully that'll be something spicy. Blood Curdle, Plummet, Proud Wild Bonder for the Uncommons, Insatiable Hemophage, Generals Enforcer, and the rare Crystalline Giant, Artifact Creature Giant 333. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose a kind of counter at random that Crystalline Giant doesn't have on it. From among Flying First Track, that's such Hex, Proof, Lifelink, Menace, Reach, Trample, Vigilance, and plus one, plus one, put a counter of that kind on Crystalline Giant. That is a mouthful. Ooh, and Scoured Barons and a Beast Token. Okay, so back to War of the Spark. You've just given up now, War of the Spark, but I think that box topper is going to beat you. Okay, we have a Arn Crop Invader, Bulwark Giant, Crush Descent, Ward Scale Croc, he'll bite your whole body off. Dust Mantle Operative, op Nexus is Cruelty, Jaya's Greeting, hello, Totally Lost, Centaur Nurturer, Iron Bully, and Uncommon's Eternal Skylord, Neoform. Tybalt, good to see you, mate. Make sure your opponents can't gain life. And rare, enter the God Eternals. Sorcery for five. Enter the God Eternals. Deals four damage to target creature and you gain life equal to the damage dealt this way. Target player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard and you amass four. Okay, and an island and soldier. No more goblins, alas, and Ikoria. This is, well, your second to last opportunity. Show us what you got. We got a Wingfold Terron. Tentative Connection, Solid Footing, Durable Coilbug, Honey Mammoth, Gloom Pangolin, Dreamtail Heron, Blazing Volley, Day Squad Marshal, and Uncommon's Wingspan Mentor, Trumpeting Gnar, in case you are ever wondering what a Gnar is, they have a lot of spittle flying out, General's Enforcer, and a Mythic, yes, back in the game, it is Luca Coppercoat Outcast, Legendary Planeswalker, Luca 5, Loyalty for 5, his plus 1 exile, the top 3 cards of your library, creature cards exile this way, gain, you may cast this card from exile as long as you control a Luca Planeswalker, minus 2, Exo target creature you control, then reveal cards from top of the library until you reveal a creature card with higher converted mana cost. Put that card onto the battlefield and rest on the bottom of your library in a random order of minus seven. Each creature you control deals damage equal to its power to each opponent. Nice extended art. Luca there, fantastic pull. A foil forest. Tranquil cove and one of these punch out cards. Okay, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new video is released. What do we have here? <laughs> it is a foil Baby Godzilla Ruin Reborn. Okay, not the craziest box topper, but you know what? I will take it. I like that much better than the Polywog Symbiote. So there we have it. I think it was pretty evenly matched today. Leave a note in the comments who you think won here. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.